Marcus, overall, just the tale of two halves. Just what did you see from your vantage point today? Um, it was more so in the first half. We had, um, you know, we came out really good. We played really well. And then um, just the second half, we just, um, right now, we're just lacking consistency. And uh, we got to figure out uh, how we can be consistent for two halves. How tough was it, the three fouls, to start the half, just in terms of getting back into rhythm? I mean, it was obviously a physical first half, and it seemed like the whistles maybe kind of took you guys out of it a little bit. Uh, it's tough just because um, some of the fouls were just ticky-tack fouls, and um, those kind of add up towards the end of the game. So um, it kind of makes um, winning on the road um, that more difficult. When you guys get on a roll in the first half and they're letting you guys play, just how much are you kind of licking your chops, that chance to be able to establish your dominance, which for the most part you really were able to do in that first half? Um, that first half we were feeling really good. Um, we, we came out, we, we defended pretty well, and um, we were able to score the ball pretty well as well. Um, just like I said, we just got to figure out how to just keep being consistent and um, keeping that overall confidence in our game. When they go on that run, what do you attribute it to? And when they're getting that, does that stop your offense a little bit too because of the lack of defensive stops? Uh, I, w I wouldn't say that, that that's a big determination. I mean, uh, a lot of this, a lot of the things they were getting were in transition. Um, they got a lot of transition dunks, and you know, um, they made a couple three pointers, and um, we knew um, Jalen Crutcher was going to come in the second half and, and be super aggressive. Um, but you know, we tried to weather the storm as much as possible. Um, and, you know, it, it's just kind of hard when um, we're just not um, being consistent um, at the right moment. You sat for an extended amount of time in that first half. It was five minutes or so. When you come back, what are you trying to focus on and how are you able to find success in that first half? Uh, just come back in and, you know, just continue to play my game and continue to be aggressive. Um, try to help the team win in any way possible. Um, I know I sat probably just because they didn't probably want me to get the second foul. So, you know, just staying aggressive. Uh, Dan Broad said here last year that a lot of you guys, yourself included, being an Ohio guy in terms of college and everything, just these are the guys that Dayton didn't want. And maybe how does that maybe you guys already have enough of a chip on your shoulder as it is, but how does playing Dayton maybe bring that out even more? Um, you know, I feel like every game, you know, is just a big game. And, you know, one of these is, you know, top, top 10 team in the country. So, you know, uh, it just makes it that more, you know, um, more important. So, uh, for me personally, I just don't really think about that. I just, you know, try to go out there and play as hard as I can. You guys got Bonaventure again on Wednesday. Having now lost two in a row, just what do you guys do to make sure that you guys don't slide down and you're playing your best basketball when A-10s come around? Uh, we're just going to make sure we're, we're staying consistent on um, both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively, and, you know, just keeping that, that intensity up and just maintaining that intensity.